Hello everybody, and today I'm reviewing the Shang Shao Wind. I have two of them here, one's black, one's white, obviously. And yes, yeah, so this is a new cube from Shang Shao. Not the newest one on the market because Shang Shao is always coming out with new cubes, but it is their newest 3x3. And I do have one of their old 3x3s that I'll compare it to in a bit, but first we'll get started on these. So we'll start off with sticker quality. I've had these... Uh, about a, a week today, actually, yes, a week today, and stickers have held up pretty nice. I must admit, I probably haven't done more than 30 solves on this black one, and no more than like, 12 on this white one. So the, I can't say much for the stickers, but as far as the shades go, it's your average Shang Shao shades, white on white, and yeah, so it, I don't like the shades. I will re-sticker these, and I will post a picture on my Facebook and my Twitter when I re-sticker these, so you can check those out as a link in the description and uh, follow and like so you can uh, see when I re-sticker these. Um, I just have to order more CubeSmith anyway, but so now we'll get on to turning with the white one. I have lubed and tensioned both these to my liking, so um, as you can see I'm not very good at performing owls, but that's the one thing that you can see right there in that thing, it's algorithm. They lock up quite a bit. Turning very fast, but that's just it, it locks up a bit. And as far as corner cutting goes, I don't corner cut much when solving, and when I do, I usually mess up and corner cut the wrong way, so then it, it does a different turn on cubes. That doesn't as much happen with these, but corner cutting isn't too great. We can see that's line to line, and it does it, but it, it does take some force. It may not look like it does, but it, it definitely has this defined snap. It doesn't do it quite very easily. No matter where you're corner cutting from, it always has a bit of a snap. And you can definitely feel that snap. It is a very snappy cube. That's a way to describe it, but it's it's very smooth. It kind of just glides like wind, but still a bit snappy. Um, that's kind of the best description I could have. And then reverse corner cutting isn't very much. You can see it gets locked up right there. This goes for the white one, regular, line to line. Uh, I might have the tensions a bit tighter on this cube, I think. So this one doesn't corner cut as well, so reverse corner cutting will be like nothing. But, yes, yeah, so this cube was made as to be comparable to a Dian, but like a cheaper version. And the reason that this is so much cheaper than a Dian, I got these for $4.99 on cubingsource.com. There's a link in the description to buy them there. The reason these are cheaper than a Dian is because, as we'll see on the latest Dian cube, the Pan Shi, there is lots and lots of curves and stuff that has to go into the molds. And this is very, very basic. It's just a square piece with this stock if you can call it a stock even. And you can see on the Dian, they've got this very long stock and then all sorts of jazz going on. And this has a spot for a torpedo on it, but the piece is a solid piece. You can't split it in half like you can with the Dian. So there is no way to put a torpedo in there, but they did leave some space in there. So that's interesting. And another thing that I kind of question about on this I've always wondered this about the Shang Shao 3x3 mech, is why they have the extension on their edges and their centerpieces. Because as like on a ghost hand cube, you might have seen videos on that before, they have grooves in the edges to reduce friction, but this is going like complete opposite of that and extending it. And I don't know if it helps it or not, I've considered shaving all of those off on this white cube and seeing if it makes any difference or not. But I don't want to do it to my black cube just yet, because I don't know what it does. So if anybody's done that, and they've made a video on it, please link me uh, in a message or something. So I have here, this is something, this is the Shank Shop 3 3 that I had before. And this will pop like nobody's business. And it's not that great, and it's all weird, and this, it has, it's on pretty loose tensions. And that's because of a different video I was making. You can see they even took it more basic than they did before in the pieces. I'll show you. Very basic on the corners with just the skinny stock and then the corner bit there. And then this has just a big 
punk on it and it's weird shaped and this is pretty average and then the edges again they went with the same design it doesn't appear to have changed very much but except when you get to here this the divot part is smaller where the pieces rotate through on there and then this part you can see it's really big over here as far as my final opinion it is a really good uh, 3x3 three three, but it is never going to be my main and that is simply because it is not up to par with the Dianes and they kinda did that on purpose this is a really really good cube for somebody that's averaging 30 seconds to a minute this will get your times down quite a bit and it's cheap and it's also good for people doing multi-blind and such but yeah so it's a very good cube for beginners and I'm getting a text message again 499cubingsource.com to pick these up there and they're also good if you want a really nice cube to mod, like if you're looking to make a modification but you want it to be like a really good cube, this is one you should go with. There's other places where you can get it cheaper, but you'll have to pay for shipping from China, and it's, it's just not nice. Um, so cubingsource.com, remember. And now I'll just end the video here, but I will show you two solves. The first two will be from, it'll be one on this cube, one on this cube from before I did anything to them, so completely stock. And then I will show you... Um, just uh, three solves after I have lubed them up and tensioned them. So it'll be three sol It'll be two solves of old, three solves of new. And this is where I end. Thank you for watching. Please let me know how I did in a comment below. Goodbye.